air resistance, friction, and thrust from the engines, and asks us to work out the magnitude, again, the size, of the resultant horizontal force. So horizontal meaning kind of side to side like this. Um, so we've got thrust is one direction, so 14,000. Then the other direction, so we subtract it, these two um, added together, so 9,500 plus 4,500. Uh, now, you might not be able to need to put into calculator to work this out. Um, this one should be um, come out to being zero, zero resultant force for that question. Now, as it's zero resultant force, um, we can then describe the motion. So how does it move as it goes along the runway? And it's just a describe question, not an explain question. Now, we should know if it's already moving, it tells us it's already moving, so it's not stationary. Really common misconception that if it was stationary originally, it would be stationary now. However, it's moving already. So if it's moving already, it's going to travel at a constant um, velocity or a constant speed. Okay. Don't say constant motion, I wouldn't say uniform motion here, constant velocity is what you're looking for.